Chapter 2 The Search I arrived in Noda City, Chiba Prefecture, on a warm June evening in 1975. It had not been easy finding the place, its small railroad depot now busy with commuters hurrying home for supper. Gnome like farm women trotted out, bent under and 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 under their massive crates of vegetable tied to their backs. A group of schoolgirls in a door blue uniform spotted the foreigner and tittered behind hands raised to their mouths. Warily, no one knowing, I looked about the tiny train station and asked in a rather shaky Japanese how there was polite laughter. 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 There was polite such towns have only Royal Ken Fashionitsu Flur Traveler. A phone call was made for me and someone kindly allowed me to ride along to the inn. Many years of reading about the ninja had brought me to the small town on the Edo River. To pursue my interest, I had crossed the sea from America to Aiga, ancient home of the ninja, only to find that it that the ninjutsu left there was tattered back suits, swords, and mu museum display cases. A historian had suggested that I might try seeking a ninja master named Hatsumi, who ran perhaps the last remaining school of ninjutsu somewhere near Tokyo. Taking train arrived in Noda City to ask finally arrived in Noda City to ask if he would act, accept me into this training program. At Atusa Ryoken, where they told me that was what they called me, I felt awkward moving down hallways to the telephone. I was indeed the first American to have ever stayed at the inn. The tiny landlady scampered down the hall ahead of me and handed me the phone. Mr. Hayes? The voice on the telephone was deep and articulate. We have been waiting for you. Hatsumi Sensei received your letter. I had gotten no answer to my letter asking permission to view the ninja training school. When I asked about this, I was told that there had been no need for a reply. Hatsumi Sensei had been seen that I would be coming regardless. They simply waited for my arrival. I am one of the teachers at the ninja school. Hatsumi Sensei would like to meet you and speak with you. May we visit you for this evening? The, <clears throat> the evening had come a little sooner than I had expected. I hurriedly changed from dusty blue jeans to a suit and a tie and had specifically for the purpose of making favorable impression on the last master of the ninja tradition. I mentally rehearsed the, the formal greeting that I had memorized for the occasion. The darkness surrounding the inn soon produced the two men. The master's assistant appeared first, dressed casually in knit trousers and a golf sweater. We exchanged brief greetings and bows, then he reached out and shook my hand in western fashion. He had a warm smile, but he moved in a quiet one, and I saw the look of cool, intense appraisal in his eyes. Hatsumi Sensei, the master, followed him into the light in the jaunty, relaxed gate, his hands tucked to the back of his pockets in his off-white jeans. He had short graying hair and wore a maroon polo shirt. He didn't bow, but gave short sort of a chopping salute and shook my hand, then motioned us all back to the inn. His manner was casual, almost uninterested. I later learned that it was most unusual for Hatsumi Sensei to leave his house to visit others. This master of the silent art prefers a non minip 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 a non minip